In the description box below, we've included great resources to assist you, including links to our how-to hub. Be sure to check it out often as we are always updating the content. I wanna show you how to create and distribute guest passes for your clients and users to use within your wireless network. We'll be performing this in Zone Director, running version 10.2.1. Before we begin, I just wanna show you that Zone Director currently has two access points that are up and online. Further, we are also running version 10.2.1, as I stated before. Let's navigate to Services and Profiles and Guest Access. We need to create our guest access service, so we'll click on the Create button. Here, we're going to give it a name. We'll call it Guest Service. For authentication, we have multiple options. However, we will utilize the Guest Pass and Social Login Authentication method. You can choose the correct method for your environment. You can modify the validity period based on your needs from the guest pass option portion. Further, you can include social media logins here as well. One of the great features within Zone Director is the ability to customize your captive portal splash screen. By clicking on one of the edit buttons depicted with a pencil icon, you can add a custom banner, background image, logo, message, or even adjust the opacity. Because this is a guest network, a great feature is that we allow you to restrict access to your various subnets through the restricted subnet access option. This will allow you to isolate your guest client traffic and prevent them from accessing any internal resources you wish to keep private and secure. I'd like to point out that our authentication server is our local database. That means that we're authenticating based off of users created within Zone Director. You can also use options such as Radius or LDAP However, for this example, we have not done that. Let's create a new wireless LAN for our guests. So we'll navigate to Wireless LANs and we'll click on Create. We're going to give it a name. Since this is an example, we'll just use Guest WLAN. Under WLAN Usage, we're going to select the Guest Access Radio button. And Guest Access Services, we'll leave Guest Service there. If you have others, you can select them here. Authentication will be left to open and encryption will be none. Under advanced options, we need to assign VLAN 1000 to our guest clients. Your guest VLAN most likely will differ and vary, but this is where you can assign it. As we scroll to the top of our advanced options, we also have wireless client isolation. You can isolate the clients from each other so that they won't be able to see each other. This is purely up to you and based on your requirements, but this is where that option is. We need to review our roles, so we're going to navigate to Services and Profiles and Roles. We have only one role configured, which will make more sense in a minute, but you can add more here and further enhance the controls over which policies can be applied to which WLANs. Let's click on Edit and take a deeper look. We only have one wireless LAN configured, so our guests will be allowed to access all WLANs. If we had multiples, we could narrow their options down just to the guest WLAN. In terms of guest passes, we are allowing guest pass generation. More features allow administration within the role, and we can also create and administer access control policies. Okay, we need a user, so let's navigate to Services and Profiles and Users. We'll click on Create to add a new user. I have filled in the information, citing Ruckus Guest as our username, and provided them with a password. Role is where we would select a specific guest role if we had one created. Since we only have a guest WLAN created, we can use the default role as our settings within that role. Let's now navigate to Services and Profiles and Guest Access. We can see our guest access service that we've created. Under guest pass generation, there is a URL we can use to generate our guest pass. I'm going to copy this URL so we can paste it in a new tab and generate our pass. Now we can request our guest pass using the user and password we created earlier. As you can see, we have two creation types, single or multiple. Further, we can include full name, validity for in days, which wireless LAN our clients will be connecting to, the email address, a phone number, and a key. We can set the number of users that can utilize the guest pass we are generating and also set the session times. Once we click Next, 
we now have options to share the guest pass. We can use email, SMS, or print. Since we've selected email, let me show you how to configure and test your SMTP settings within Zone Director. Navigate to System and System Settings. If we scroll down, here we can see our email server settings. Unless you are using Gmail, your settings will need to be adjusted based on your organization's requirements and email server settings. Let's use the test button so we can be sure emails will be sent from our Zone Director controller. As expected, successful. Let's go ahead and email this pass. Here is an example of a printed guest pass. You can see all of the information is contained with detailed instructions on accessing the guest WLAN. As responsible administrators, you'll most likely need to keep track of the guest passes that are generated. If you navigate to Clients and Generated Guest Passes, you can see your passes here. You also have additional options, so this gives you a little bit more flexibility. As with everything, we need to test this. Let's see how we did. Within our available Wi-Fi networks, we see our guest WLAN SSID. So we're going to connect to that. Once we do, our browser automatically opens and directs us to our Captive Portal splash page. Let's enter our guest pass key and click on connect. Look at that, it was successful. Once we click on continue, we're automatically redirected to our web browser's default homepage. Before you go, don't forget to check the description box below and access any of the resources we've provided. Thanks for watching.